Coming up next, a first impression of La Tosca from Casa Malati of Georgia. that shirt all day. It was a little bit sweaty. <laughs> it's a little warm today here in Miami, even in January. So I wanted to put on a, a fresh shirt for the video. Um, so today I'm reviewing the feminine fragrance. Okay. This is La Tosca. La Tosca. This is from the line of Casa Marati, which is Zhirzhov. So it's under the Zhirzhov brand, the Italian niche house. Um, and, uh, this is, uh, you know, founded by Sergio Momo, the creative director. This is a feminine, they kind of describe it as a Shepra, which typically a Shepra has a kind of oak moss base, but they purposely went away from that with this fragrance. Kind of interesting. It's a floral Shepra. It's an Eau de Parfum. It was released in 2015, so it's been around now for about four or five years. The nose is Chris Maurice. He's done a lot of other stuff for, for example, uh, Nishane to Kemi, which Kemi is another uh, uh, division of Zhirzhov. It's another house owned by Zhirzhov. Uh, Fragrantica gives us a rating of 3.86. I don't know why. It's a little bit low if you ask me. Uh, and 100 ml bottle retails for about $290. So this is, you know, niche, definitely niche quality. If you've smelled anything by Zhirzhov, uh, this is upper level niche fragrance. I mean... Everything they do is super high quality. Everything I've smelled, I've smelled a lot of their their juices and everything. Everything is high quality. Whether you like the smell or find it agreeable or not, obviously, it's one thing, but cannot argue with the quality. Now, what were they trying to do with this? I like to try to say at the beginning of the video, what were they trying to accomplish? And then I kind of give my opinion whether I thought they achieved it. Um, this is how they describe it as a dramatic story trapped in a bottle and an ardent bouquet of Italian opera. So this is supposed to be a harken back to like an Italian opera, almost like a tragedy, a drama, a love story, all wrapped up in one. So again, very cool concept. I like what these Italian uh, houses do, these niche houses do with their fragrances. I think they just, they push the boundaries and they, they combine art. It's not just about a bottle of, of juice. It's everything that surrounds it, the art, the story, the backstory, the background, the ingredients. So. Let's get right into this, the notes. At the top, you have Italian lemon and green mandarin. At the heart, you have Bulgarian rose, eucalyptus, and violet leaf. And at the base, you have patchouli, musk, amber, and Madagascan uh, vanilla. So again, everything they use here, super high quality. So not surprised about that. Um, I sprayed it on uh, my arm here, and I sprayed it uh, also on the script. So, it's nice. This is already right through the dry down. So, so beautiful, so elegant, so luxurious. Um, my first impression when I sprayed this, fresh green citrus with uh, violet kind of like touching through. So, it just kind of came across as this, this, you know, clearly it's got that Italian lemon and green mandarin, but this is not a citrusy fragrance. I, it's weird. Uh, this is definitely a feminine fragrance. Um, you know, especially at the top, it comes across to me as that very crowd pleasing. I would think very beautiful. I don't see how anyone, when they smelled this, if they were going through and smelled the top note spray, that they wouldn't say, "Oh, this is a beautiful fragrance." They may, you know, say, "Okay, not like not a lot of complexity at the top," but I, I don't care if a fragrance if it's beautiful and it's well blended and it smells great. I love that. Okay, now uh, projection. I got a little over. Almost up to four hours on this projection. This thing projected very well for me. So for ladies out there, if you want your man or other people to smell this, but it's not overpowering because it's, it's not pungent, this is going to work well for you. After about an hour, 15 minutes or so, the rose violet blend uh, started coming in very nicely. Not too sweet. And I would say that I think this could be unisex. I would absolutely wear this myself. Some people ask me when I review feminine fragrances what I wear. This is one that I would wear. Although I want to smell this on my you know, girlfriend, lady friend, whatever it is. This is something, again, for me, if it's a fragrance that I would want to like just devour off their skin and smell and getting close, this is one of those fragrances. It's just so beautifully blended. At that middle note, I think that 
the eucalyptus keeps it being a little bit fresh and keeps it from being too over the top feminine and it almost comes across a little bit minty and you, you know because of the eucalyptus in there so i think that's a very cool touch that they add in there um but i will say it, it actually also though because of that bulgarian rose definitely feels feminine so it it's it's absolutely a feminine fragrance, but I can see where men can pull it off again because it's not over the top. I think the eucalyptus kind of pulls it down a little bit. It actually comes across not spicy to me. I've seen some people talking about this being a spicy fragrance. I didn't really get any spiciness out of it. Uh, and after about a little over two hours, two and a half hours, it starts to go into that mid late mid heart note area into the dry down. It becomes this soapy, rosy vanilla. And that's where this fragrance shines for me. Guys, at the top in the heart, it's nice, it's beautiful, it's very Zhirzhov. But where this shines to me, and this is, gonna, this is going to blow you away, this thing lasted 15 plus hours on my skin. This is one of those fragrances that when I first wore it and I went to bed that night, I hadn't washed it off, when I woke up the next morning, it was still on my skin over 15, 16 hours later. And I'm not saying like faint, barely smelling. I'm saying still on my skin as a very nice, warm, well, strong smelling skin scent after that time. So this is a beast on longevity. Ladies, you could put this on in the morning and wear it all day. It's going to last you the entire day until you go to sleep at night. And, and not only is it going to last you, but that dry down is one of the best dry downs I've smelled in a while. I love this dry down. Most dry downs to me nowadays are kind of boring. And to be honest, when I looked at it, patchouli, musk, amber, vanilla, okay, that's a lot. That's, I mean, that's what a lot of fragrances use nowadays. That's a pretty, you know, common combination. So I wasn't expecting this unbelievable dry down, but because I think the Bulgarian rose, because that's what I kept getting was this kind of like soapy, and I think that's from the violet, you know, also a little bit, gives it almost a little bit of soapy rose quality that just was beautiful and creamy and lasted forever and ever and ever. So highly recommend this. Is it a dramatic story trapped in a bottle, an ardent bouquet of Italian opera? Absolutely. I love it. Great description. They hit a home run with this fragrance. I highly recommend it. Ladies, I recommend that you go get your nose on it. Let me know what you think. If you have not already smelled it, if you have, please leave some comments. Either way, love to hear your opinions on this. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't, I would appreciate please considering subscribing. All you have to do is hit subscribe. You can ring the bell for notifications so you know when I release new videos. And you can also like the video if you found this useful, helpful, entertaining in any way. That's it. That's my review. This is Joel the Nose, and I will be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching.